Hey guys, it's John here coming to you for yet another Disney Story Review. Here I have for you today, Glinda the Good. Portrayed by Michelle Williams in the 2013 movie Oz the Great and Powerful, she is now part of the Disney Film Collection, which retails for about $35 at the Disney Store. Unfortunately, that was about a year ago, so she's not available anymore, so you have to find her on eBay and sites like that. So let's jump right in and have a look at her packaging. Glinda's packaging is probably my most favourite out of the Oz Collection dolls. I think I like how bright and light it is. I like the bubbles. Of course she has to have bubbles on her packaging, doesn't she? Um, here you have at the front Oz the Great Powerful logo, Glinda the Good, Disney Film Collection. On the sides we have the bubbles. At the back we have a scenic background with the 3D popping effect with the trees at the top and some bubbles here and there. And at the top we of course have more bubbles and sparkles. At the back here, we have a little blurb of Glinda. Feel free to pause that if you want to read. So let's jump right into the doll herself. So here we have Glinda in all her beauty. And as you can see here, they have captured Michelle Williams' likeness really, really well. Of course, with the traditional side-glancing Disney store uh, eyes. Um, I think certain angles, you can definitely tell it's Michelle Williams a lot more than face front. Um, she is rooted with beautiful blonde hair, very similar to the 2014 Aurora hair, as you can see here, nice and wavy. Uh, Aurora's is a bit uh, shade darker, I would say, so Glinda's is a bit lighter. Um, of course, they both have slightly gelled curls. Uh, the top feels nice and smooth. Um, I really, really like the detail on her crown. I've always liked her crown in the movie. I thought it looked really, really nice and elegant. I think these are supposed to be blue, maybe? Those pink gems? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. And the dress she is wearing is the one that she wears at the end of the movie. She wears a couple throughout the whole movie. I think she wears three. Um, I think she definitely would have been better off with one of her the movie's other dresses, since this one isn't shown as much, I believe. But um, this one is quite nice, and this one does really capture her character a lot more than the others. So she has nice long meshy sleeves. Uh, she has this nice bodice with this fishnet material um, at her shoulders, and a nice bow of course. <laughs> Uh, her dress has multiple layers, which is really awesome. It has one, two, three, four, five layers, which is incredible. And it's kind of this hard, meshy material that holds the shape really well. So as you can see, um, it's a huge dress. Um, Width-wise, it really holds its shape. It doesn't have anything underneath to hold it. So I'm really impressed by that. It has nice little pearls. Um, on the dress and of course it's glitterified uh, unfortunately for me because you guys know I don't like glitter that much it does give uh, the dress a nice effect though but unfortunately the glitter when I first got out of the box it did come off quite a bit so I had to duct tape it down so uh, tip for all you glitter haters out there just get um, some sticky tape and start sticking taping the dress and most of the glitter will come off so as you can see here it doesn't shed as much anymore when I touch it which is good so the bottom layer of her dress is a nice silky pink and as you can see uh, that's the whole thing at the bottom. The rest is a nice white, looks very much like um, a wedding dress I, I would say, it's a really nice wedding dress. The front is um, a little bit shorter than the back so she kind of has this cool train going on and her heels, are, I believe these are like Cinderella heels but just with glitter on them of course. Um, so that's her outfit for you. Her only accessory is her magical wand, of course. I think it looks really nice. It's kind of this nice purple shade and with the silver jewel at the top. It's quite small though, so you will probably lose it if you don't uh, attach it to her hand by rubber band. Unfortunately, she can't hold it by herself, so you will need to rubber band it. Um, before this review, I was trying to find it because I lost it, but I found I found it. Lucky for me, I found it. Uh, so let's jump right in now to her articulation. So articulation-wise, as you can see here, this is her original body. I have rebodied her since her original did have the rubber click knees. Um, and if you know me, you know I don't like these. Um, she also didn't have any posable feet, so I had rebodied her in a 2012 Disney Princess body, which had those plastic legs with um, movable knees and feet. But of course, she had the rotation in the head tilt, she has rotation in the shoulders, elbows, hands, uh, movement in the hips, and the rubber click knees, which 
aren't that great as you can see which now that I have rebodied her she does have plastic knees so she can fully bend 90 degrees movement in the feet as well which I love so if you do have another body lying around and you don't like the rub click knees I really high, highly recommend rebodying her just heat up her head with um, a hairdryer pop it off it can be a bit tricky you have to be really really careful when you're doing that and just rebody her it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it so overall, I think Glinda is a brilliant character and a brilliant doll with her likeness to Michelle Williams and her big, big white dress. I think she looks amazing. Only cons I have though are the glitter and the rubber legs. Um, that's only really nitpicking from me though, so if you do like those things, she is perfect. I definitely um, highly recommend buying her. She is definitely my second favourite. She, I love her character so much. Definitely after watching Wicked, I highly recommend any Wizard of Oz fans to watch the musical Wicked. I'm pretty sure you have already, but if you haven't, be sure to check it out. I highly recommend Glinda as a doll, and until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye!